Most people sleep with guns under their pillows, but I like to sleep with a picture of a Karen under my pillow because I don't know if anything goes awry in the midnight hours that I can just whip that little picture out, that little Polaroid, flash it to the intruder, and they'll, they'll pee their pants and run back down the hill with their tail between their legs, knowing they've been utterly defeated. I personally am a very big Karen advocate. I love seeing Karen freakouts pop up in my video feed where they're just making themselves look like a fool in Target or Walmart and just making a laughing stock out of themselves in front of the online community. And so, as I do every day, I got to thinking about Karens and how I could make another Karen video. But instead of making a normal Karen video where I talk in between the clips and, you know, like every other Karen video, witty remarks and all that, that's fine and dandy, but... I wanted to somehow make Karens compete with each other and make this like a, a Clash of Titans event. But I figured I couldn't make them compete in a Roman Colosseum top deal because that's highly illegal. So I figured I would make a Karen speed run with my five favorite Karen clips and some of the most popular Karen freakouts. And I made like a five point list to see who could hit those points on that list the fastest in their respective videos. As we could say in their respective Karen universes. So just to elaborate a bit more on the rules of this Karen speedrun, for the multitude of reasons you could have not understood it before, ranging from my accent all the way to me looking like my family tree is just a straight up ladder. In the most simple way possible, I have five Karen clips and then five rough points that they all have to meet before they become the ultimate Karen speedrunner. So now it's time for the five bullet points that I wrote down. I wrote down old woman, but by what I mean by that is like the Karen aesthetic. You know, how they dress. Normally overweight is how Karens look. You know, with the, the bob cut, Karen haircut, blonde hair, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. If they meet a, a close enough criteria to the appearance, we'll, we'll give them the point for that. And I had to go back and revise number two real fast, and I changed it to zero respect because the one I had it as before didn't really make much sense and it kind of tied in with number four, which is privilege. So number two is now zero respect, and it kind of is the same thing as privilege, but I mean, I'm just going to throw it in there anyways because I couldn't think of nothing else better. And then for the third reason we have, I'm going to call the cops, where they threaten to call the cops, which is what 90% of Karens do in their respective videos. So number four is privilege, where they think they're high and mighty above everyone else. You know, they think they're Zeus in Mount Olympus. Everyone should kiss their feet and pray to them for a good harvest. And then, of course, number five, we have yelling slash cursing, which is a trademark of all Karens. So it definitely has to be on this list. And the way I'm going to work with the timer thing, I'm not going to put one up in the corner because I'm going to be cutting it and like talking in the middle of it maybe in some of these clips. So you're just going to have to trust my word that I'm not being biased towards any of these Karens and wait for their final time at the end of each clip. So ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and buckle down, get your popcorn ready, and wear an extra layer of underwear because we're about to see who the ultimate Karen speedrunner is. So the first Karen clip in our competition is not one that I was not graced with to know about before I did the research for this video, so it's a new Karen clip for me. Basically what it is is just Karen is ruining her son's wedding. That's all you need to know. <laughs> we can give, we can you give can leave. Perfect. Okay. No, I'm sorry. I don't have to leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> that dress you're wearing, we've been Let's calm far. down. Let's <laughs> calm down. <laughs> you're not going to ruin my You bed. are not going to say my okay. son has flaws. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Everybody has flaws, and that's why I love them. So the first interjection here for me, we're going to be checking some boxes faster than you check boxes during a school survey because there's a lot going on in this 30 seconds of the clip. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have to walk. You can leave. You yeah. can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. That yes, dress you you're wearing, I paid for. Huh? Uh, let's oh, get out. I'm not Bring getting out. out. Try it, and I'll have you arrested. Well, I'm not church Tony, here. get her out of here. Let's this is not the right. The church, Tony. this is not. I'm sorry. So we have Karen there throwing a complete and utter tantrum. You know that that has to be one of the most that has to be one of the, the best records in this this whole thing. So we've got the appearance down. She looks like a Karen. You know, an overweight white woman that's older. So we can go ahead and check that box. Zero respect. Obviously, zero respect. She's interjecting during the middle of a a wedding ceremony. Her son's wedding ceremony. She says. You don't say my son doesn't have flaws. He's flawless. <laughs> Everyone says that during a wedding. You have flaws, but that's what makes me love you. And she's like, no, you're not going to say my son doesn't have flaws. He's perfect. 
Now, if her son does have flaws, I can definitely see where those would come from. I, I feel very bad for that man. You can tell he does not want his mom to be there. He definitely did not invite her to the wedding. She just came in through the side door. She just... <laughs> She crashed the wedding and now she's ruining the middle of the ceremony. And then she goes on to threaten to call the police. She says she'll have them arrested for getting in her face. So we can go ahead and check off the calls cops box there. And then privilege, of course. Yeah, 100% privilege. She's saying, I paid for that dress. I paid for that dress. I can say whatever I want. I can ruin your wedding. I paid for the dress. And then, of course, the yelling part. Yeah, she stands up and stomps around like a little toddler that's mad that he got his Thomas the Train tank engine took away. It's just a very great display of Karening here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the final time for the speedrun for you guys. And since we're going off the part where she said she'll get them arrested, since that is indeed the time we check our last box, that is 41 seconds, which is a very, very good time. You know, <laughs> that's going to be hard to beat. So we'll see if these next four Karens have what it takes to look like a complete idiot and like a monkey flailing his arms around in less than 41 seconds. So the anime backstory for this Karen is that she's in a Walmart and guess what? She doesn't want to wear a mask. I know, big surprise. That's that's, that's some world-changing news. Like, they they figured out that Godzilla really exists and God isn't real and we're all doomed to eternal damnation. So now that you have the backstory, let's go ahead and watch this, Karen. Go ahead and record me. Go ahead and record me. What's the Ohio go ahead. Karen? Go ahead. Okay, go Karen. Go ahead. Because you will be part of this, too. I will. Okay. So we're already 35 seconds into this Karen video. She's not going to beat the wedding crasher Karen, but she's putting up a good fight. She already has the appearance down, so we can check that off. We're going to go ahead and say she has zero respect because she's up in everyone's faces, yelling at him and whatnot. And then she already threatens to call the cops, so we, ch we can check three boxes off there. And she has her phone parading it around. No, she definitely isn't recording because she's holding it by the corner of it. She's holding it like this by the corner. No one, when you're recording something, you don't hold it like this. She's do going around like a merry-go-round around the guy saying, Yeah, you're going to be involved in this too. You know what? I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> so yeah, this is a fairly strong start from Walmart anti-mask Karen. And let's go ahead and continue the madness. Okay, our reaction. How are you recording now? Black Lives Matter, right? Yeah. Yours should too, but you don't act like it. Do you work here? No. Do you, what's your name? I've been watching Karen videos for a while. I couldn't pass it up. What's your name? What's my name? Yeah, what's your name? We can ID. Is that you any of your business? So? Okay, so tell me <laughs> I'm going to go in their shop. If there are any legal issues, you'll hear from my attorney. Oh, good. Hi. Am I allowed to um, shop here without a mask? I have a health exemption. So, you know, she's already pulled in race to the, the whole equation by saying something about Black Lives Matter or whatever she was saying. I can't really tell. She was just rambling on about something. And then she goes on rambling about, we can ID you in court from your eyes because she's like recording or taking pictures or whatever she's doing with her phone holding it by the corner still, which is aggravating me. But then she goes and says... I'm going to go shop without a mask on because she's, she's above everyone else. She looks down on those peasants and she's going to do what she wants. So we've got the first four boxes checked and I don't know, you could technically say she was yelling slash cursing, but I mean, it's kind of iffy. So we're going to have to continue watching and see if she'll pull that out in the last few minutes of this. Karen, that's an anti-white racist slur. No, it's not. There's black that's Karens, there's Chinese Karens, there's white slur. Karens. So you're an anti-white racist. I'm no, if there. anybody you're acts an like you is a Karen. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. I had to throw that in there. The guy called her a Karen. And <laughs> she says, you're an anti-white racist because Karen. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Twitter, get on that. A Karen is an anti-white racist slur. I'm sure you can make some good work with that Twitter. I'm counting on you. So she just keeps babbling on for the rest of this video about anti-white racist slur. So we're going to count that as yelling slash cursing because she's... It's good. It's close enough and I don't want to watch any more of this woman. So for the sake of keeping our sanity and not being admitted to Arkham Asylum, we're just going to mark her down for 1 minute and 21 seconds and save herself from the rest of this video and just count that as yelling slash cursing when she starts saying anti-white racist slur. Karen is an anti-white racist slur. Alright, so now we have a very popular clip, one that I've seen, one that I've seen a while ago, it was early in uh, 2020, 
the target Karen. And just like every good Karen does when they're in a super center, you know, some kind of place shopping, they go in and they say they have to make a fuss about Mask, which is the same thing this Karen does, which is one of my favorite Karen clips of all time. She comes in the target, rips every mask off the, the, the shelf, you know, creating a scene incriminating herself by recording the footage herself she's capturing herself doing this in 4k well more like 140p but she's slinging the the mask off the shelf and everything it's hilarious i've been looking forward to this shit all my fucking life so uh target i'm not playing any more fucking games this shit's fucking over this shit's all fucking over this shit's this shit's over, this shit's over, this shit's over, this shit's over, this If this was a speed run to see which Karen could look like an insufferable five year old who didn't get the right color cake at their birthday party, she would be at the top of the list. She would be at the, the best at this this job. But unfortunately, that is not what we're doing today, but she has checked off a few of the boxes. She has zero respect, you know, obviously, because she's slinging Target's property off the shelf saying, We don't need this! We don't need this! And then she's yelling and cursing, obviously, because she's saying it every breath. Saying cuss words like she's spewing diarrhea out of her mouth while she's slinging mask off of a shelf saying, We don't need this! We don't need this! We don't need this! <laughs> And from the looks of it, she posted this on her own Instagram story, so I guess she thought people were going to side with her and be on her side of this, but... <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. We don't, we don't want any of this anymore. This is over. No. So yeah, watching about five more seconds in, privilege, definitely go ahead and check privilege off. So she's got three out of five already. This definitely has to be some kind of privilege where she's throwing this stuff off the shelves like she owns the place. Like, my daddy owns this establishment. I can do whatever I want. That's what, that's what kind of vibes I'm getting from her right now. Uh -uh. No. Do you? Why? Why? You let everybody else do it. You let everybody else do it. Why can't do it because I'm a blonde white woman? You know, I apologize, Target Karen. You know that you have that 40k Rolex on your wrist. I don't want to disrespect you. I don't have a 40k Rolex. See, my wrists are bare. My ri I just got freckles on my wrist. You know, you're obviously above me. You can do whatever you want. I'm not going to knock you. But now that you mention it, I do remember every time I've walked into a Target, I see people slinging masks off shelves saying we don't need them and seeing how many cuss words they can say before they sling all the masks off the shelves. And she says she, she's got that 40k Rolex on her wrist, you know, flexing out here on them. So you got to do whatever she says. She's got the rights and the privilege to do whatever she wants. If she wants to turn this into a prostate exam, you're going to have to bend over and let her check your prostate. Because that 40k Rolex says she's a doctor now. Now that we have all all the variables to this Karen equation now that she's brought them all into the uh, the equation here we can now safely solve the problem and say that this Karen is indeed an insufferable person that just makes everyone's lofts around her living misery Cheap. Bah. Bah. What are you gonna do, right? take it off that's what I'm gonna do take it off so I just found a, <laughs> a continuation on her story that someone posted uh, where she was calling people sheep for, you know, putting their carts back and being, you know, polite to the, the place they're shopping at. She's calling them sheep, making bad noises because she's really good at that. She's a really good animal impersonator. Bah, sheep. Bah. 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 Bah, sheep. Okay. Alright, alright. You need to stop or okay. we'll take you in, okay? Alright, alright. Okay. I feel like it's a punishment for me to go sit in my Range Rover, but no, I'll do not. it. No, it's not. I just don't want you... Annoying I'll do it. No, I'm not annoying. I'm annoying. Now you're calling me annoying. Oh, yeah. Fine. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and mark the time there. At 1 minute and 40 seconds, she went into the Target, made herself look like an idiot. And then they called the cops on her. So, I mean, the cops did get called, so we'll count that as a check. So she checked all the boxes, but it's going to be such a punishment to go sit in her amazing, really, really expensive Range Rover with her 40k Rolex on her wrist. That's just going to be such a disappointing day for her. So yeah, really rich Karen at Target comes in at a 1 minute 40 second score, which is uh, the worst so far, but you know, she has a Rolex and a Range Rover, so we can't really say anything to her. She's she's far above our plane of existence. So this next Karen is in Barnes & Noble's freaking out, and I, I guess she's just freaking out about books, because uh, what else are you supposed to freak out about in Barnes & Noble's? 
And this is a, uh, this is not a real Karen encounter, I do not believe at least, but it, it still encapsulates the, uh, the spirit of a Karen enough to where I think it, it deserves a spot in this video. It's one of the top five Karen videos in my eyes. It's just beautiful, you know, like, it's, it's meant to be exaggerated, but it literally, if you just watched this without any context and didn't know this was like a fake thing and this was an actress, you would 100% think this is real, because this is actually how bad Karens are getting. <laughs> and this is in like 2011, so it's way ahead of their times. Generic theaters brought us a gem of a video. Have you ever read the Misery novels? I'm They're not, very good. I'm not familiar with Misery, I'm more of a history kind of guy. How can you not know Misery? You work here. How can you not know? I, look, Paul Sheldon writes the Misery novels. They're very good. I'm looking for the latest one. Misery's Child, I really need that to complete my collection, and I really think you need to have that here. I don't, Misery. I don't have it in the store, but I could probably order it for you. I'm not interested in waiting. I mean I've already seat? waited a long time for the paperback to come out. Mi Paul Sheldon, Misery's Child. Misery, Misery in France, Misery Betrayed, Misery in Love. You don't know any... <laughs> I just find it funnier and funnier each time she says misery and just staring at her face. But she's not having it. She's saying, you're supposed to know what, where every book in this store is. You're supposed to have read every book in this store. You work at a bookstore. Why have you not read every book in the world? What kind of, uh, what kind of cockadoodie bookstore is this that you don't even know Paul Sheldon? Paul Sheldon, let me tell you something. I am Paul Sheldon's number one fan. What kind of cockadoodie I've never heard anyone get mad in the old cock duty <laughs> Yeah, she's working up that yelling tone. We're gonna count that as a curse word. And you can't be telling me that you don't have Paul Sheldon's books here. Isn't there anybody here who knows about Paul Sheldon? Isn't anybody familiar with the Misery books? I'm telling you. How could any of you be in a bookstore when you don't know Paul Sheldon? When you've never read Misery? I can't, what is wrong with you all? I don't understand what is happening! No worries, I man, no worries. I am looking for a cock of duty book! I can order it for you. <laughs> or see if it was from nearby, my habit. <laughs> This, ye this lady's yelling loud enough to just turn into a full Super Saiyan right here. I'm, I'm surprised her hair didn't start standing up and start turning yellow. Got that golden aura around her yelling, just start punching books off shelves. Where's the cock duty misery book set? The way the guy just pops in behind her and says, I can order it for you or see if a store around us has it. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. I gotta watch it when it pops in. Look at that face. Oh god, that's beautiful. I can order it for you, <laughs> or see if a store nearby might have it. I can order it for you, or see if a store nearby might have it. But we'll go ahead and give our fake Barnes and Noble Karen a uh, two two minute rating. She is uh, currently the the bottom of the list on the Karen speed run. And now we have a very 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 funny Karen clip. Our <laughs> our last Karen clip here is uh, the uh, the polite Karen that is also not so polite at all. The Bible quoting Karen, if you will. It's another Walmart Karen encounter, and it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a work of art. This should be going up on every movie theater in e every part of the world. It's just, everyone needs to see this. You gotta save the best for last, and this is the best Karen encounter I believe I've ever seen. Well, be charity, motherfucker. Really? I'm just trying to help you. I'm sorry, but I don't need your help. Y yes, you do, motherfucker. <laughs> you do! You do need my help, sir! Can't you see that, you son of a bitch? Could you please just let me check out my groceries? Fuck you! I'm trying to help you, motherfucker! <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is... You gotta ask Jesus Christ, we're I don't all have sinners. to do anything! We're all sinners! <laughs> she starts off strong there in about 25 seconds in. She's already got the appearance down. She's got the zero respect down. She's got the yelling and cussing down. <laughs> She's cussing. She's being. She's like. She sounds polite when she's delivering it. Yes, you do need help, Mother Affer. 
I can't tell if she's like Canadian. She sounds like Canadian mixed with like New Yorker. I can't really tell which one it is. But it's so she's like being she's it sounds like she's coming off as polite and then she'll throw in a cuss word there to just spin it all around and just confuse you like you're in a daze or something. <laughs> like you just jumped into an alternate universe where cuss words are now like friendly gestures of saying like thank you or you're welcome. Okay. He was not, he's not going to force you to do You're it. You're sinning right now. No, I'm not, motherfucker. Huh? You fucking accuser. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking accuser. <laughs> um, you motherfucking accuser. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh. You motherfucking accuser. <laughs> accuser of the fucking brethren, you motherfucker. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Every time I see this video, it makes me die laughing. It is the best video, hands down, I've ever seen of a Karen. This lady uses the F word more than, like, a black rapper uses the N word. It's it's impressive. And then she even throws in the mother f -a. She does, instead of the hard R on the f -er, she says, uh, you mother f -a. And then the lady says, ma'am, and she goes, yes. <laughs> like she didn't just yell at a man and say the F word at least 20 times. I'm pissed because you won't repound. <laughs> I, I just want to get some groceries and go home. I don't give a fuck because it's going to burn in hell. Okay. And you are too, bitch. If you don't have Jesus Christ as your savior, you're going to be down there fucking with them, screaming and Holy fucking terror, fucking fire and brimstone. Do you fucking get it? Yeah, I totally understand. Everyone in this store is a sinner in her eyes, and she's throwing FUs at everyone that isn't a, that isn't repenting to Jesus Christ. She's got every box ticked now. She's got the privilege thing down. She thinks she's above everyone because she is a Christian, I guess. I'm just slinging, I don't know what she is, really. She's just the... She's the one who makes people repent. That's what that's what we'll put it as. And if you don't repent, you're getting the mother effer slur slung at you. You never know if she's gonna put the A or the ER on the end of it though. So she's she's always keeping it new and inventive when she says the word. I guess you gotta invent new ways to say it once you say it that much to people. That is, she just says it an impressive amount of times. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video there. We're gonna give her a, uh, we're gonna give her repenting Karen a two minute thing there because they're calling the cops on her, which I'm just gonna count that because I don't think she says she's gonna call the cops on this. She just keeps yelling over and over, mother effa, mother effer, and then saying like, you need to repent to Jesus. So yeah, this is that's a beautiful video. I, I think I'm gonna link all the videos that I that I watch in the dis, in the description, so you can uh, you can go check those out at your own risk, you know. But this one definitely is one you need to watch. This it's it's hilarious. It's like a five minute video, and it's 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 worth watching every second. This lady, if this lady started a YouTube channel or an OnlyFans, I would throw every bit of money I had at her. She is just a she's a a beautiful soul. She just wants them to repent, and they're not repenting, and. She has to get him repent to repent somehow, so she's yelling at him, I guess. This lady is what makes Jehovah Witnesses scary. If she popped up on your doorstep and started screaming at you, Repent, mother effer! <laughs> You'd get down on your hands and knees and repent right there. So yeah, there you have it, guys. There's our uh, Karen speedrun there. Our winner is the first wedding Karen. She got came in at a very surprising, very startling 41 seconds. You know, no other Karen was a sub one minute, and this lady just blew them all out of the water. So impressive stuff there for wedding Karen. We gotta give her a round of applause, and I'll be shipping her trophy to her in a very short period of time. She'll be receiving that very shortly. I'm sure she's gonna hang it up on her mantle like a bear head or something. Throw it on the floor like a bear rug. It's gonna be her prized possession. And then in second place, we have Walmart Mask Karen, which is, comes in at a 1 minute 21 seconds. And then Target Karen at 1 minute 40. And then we have Barnes & Noble Karen, which is the fake video Karen. Just It's so good of a video, you have to include it in a Karen top 5. And then Repent Karen at a uh, solid 2 minutes. Both of those tied for 4th place. So, it's so, solid stuff from all these Karens all around. You know, they're all... Two minutes or below. That's very impressive speed running right there, Karens. We got to salute all of you in your Karen endeavors, and without you, we wouldn't have entertainment as we know it today.
So yeah, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.